President Joe Biden will be getting a first-hand look today at the destruction caused by Hurricane Ida in Louisiana. Due to arrive in New Orleans here around noon local time, he's going to meet with local officials in St. John the Baptist Parish and then take an aerial tour to see the damage in places like Lafitte and Grand Isle. Meanwhile, of course, the recovery efforts continue in the very muggy, muggy southern heat. Tough times out there for us. And that's, of course, where we find the Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff. Uh, Dave, what's the latest? Yeah, Alex, the areas that President Biden are going to be flying over are outside of this fortress of protection, a multi-billion dollar wall built around the city after Katrina, right here in the Lower Ninth Ward. New Orleans didn't dodge a bullet. New Orleans was wearing a multi-billion dollar bulletproof vest. These homes on southern Louisiana's barrier islands are outside of New Orleans' $14 billion fortress of protection, a wall of rock, concrete, and pumps built after Hurricane Katrina when the walls fell right here and the city flooded. Here in the historic Lower Ninth Ward, you can build a wall against water. What you can't do is build a wall against wind. This house here just days ago was not only standing, but construction crews were here rebuilding it. Then came Ida. She's a destroyer. That's Ida. Yeah, Ida. Yeah, I call her Ida May, because she good. Valeria Schecksneyer survived Ida, Katrina, and so many other name storms going back to 1964 when she moved to the Lower Ninth Ward. We didn't have no flooding, you know. Thank God we didn't, but... Uh, I mean, we still in dying need with the power out. Mrs. Schecksneyer is spending most of her day outside or in the car with the AC running. But at 74 years old, she can't go running around and sitting in gas lines like this one. I got a few more houses to go check on when I leave here. James Brundy is fixing his grandmother's roof. It lost some shingles during Ida, but back during Katrina, James was up in the attic with his wife who went into labor and gave birth right there. How long were you in the attic? Uh, I think we stayed up to three days. Yeah, we stayed up to three days. As you drive around the Lower Ninth Ward, the damage certainly doesn't look as bad as other areas, but every day without power is a day when food rots and the refrigerated insulin goes bad. This is a slow motion disaster, even under the protection of a multi-billion dollar wall. And that's something that they didn't have when your son was being born. No, they didn't have that at all. All this was underwater. All of this, that's why it looked like this. All this was houses. I grew up down here. Without that protection, experts tell us we would have another Katrina-type disaster on our hands right here in the Lower Ninth Ward. Pretty decent place. If they would put it back up how it used to be, it's pretty deserted now because everything is gone. It's, it's not the same. None of the same people are still here. Anything we want, we have to basically go in St. Bernard Parish or over this bridge, you know, for grocery stores and, you know, nothing. It's, we st we've been in recovery 16 years, so you know what it is. 16 years of recovery, think about that. And even though we're not underwater here, there's so many things that have moved out of here. Essential services calling, like uh, she was telling me about a chain grocery store that set up shot here and then was here for maybe a year and then closed down right after that. So there's, their gasoline needs are not just to run the generators, but actually to get their groceries from way out of the lower ninth. It's life. You, you need some of that gasoline just to function. And then on top of that, you don't have the creature comforts that uh, you need, like water, like electricity. But hopefully in the coming days and weeks, we will slowly start to see an uptick and more positive outlook here for parts of New Orleans.